Welcome to RaiGurupal.com. In this video, we'll discuss about string information in NumPy. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. So, string operation. There are two types: one with string information, and other is string operations. I've already created one video on string operations. So if you have not watched it, please watch that first, then you will move to here. I will mention the URL in description tab. Now string information is having three parts when we are working with string operation majorly used and there are several other components we, we can also use it. So information will contain count, R find is numeric. It means the searching or the value of the data which we can use it. So numpy.count is a part of string information. This function returns the number of occurrences of a substring in the given string. So if we want to make the code of this, we have to import the library of numpy and then we have to provide the alias as a np and now our code starts so if you want to make any array inside that array we have to declare the array value and we will see the information of any string so let's see here how we'll do that inside this we need to provide the value so let's say right then first string then second string is second string is this gurukul kul and the third string is this com dot com now if we want to count total character inside the string we have to write or we have to print the value with the count like np dot character and dot count now count will have b comma the value so let's say if i am typing here as a ry it should print count 3 or count 1 because ry is available here. Let's say if print contains np dot character and dot count then b comma kul. Now let's run this and see the result. Now you can see one because first is got hit and it's true because of that one then this is zero zero because we have written only string ry. Now you can see your kul is a part of gurukul because of that it's showing one otherwise it will show no, zero. You can see here zero one zero. So this is how it works inside the counting but if you want to find the string. So this function returns the highest indexes of the string if found in given string. If not found, then it returns minus one. So instead of count, we are giving here as a R find. R find. And here R find. Then let's run this. Now you can see wherever data is not available or it is not matching with the string written minus 1 and wherever it's available it is written as minus 1, 4 and minus 1. So let's understand if it for the printing the value whenever uh, the boolean type of character. So is numeric if the is numeric is true it will print true otherwise it will print false. So Let's change just one character here, rest other program as same. 
so is numeric because it's not numeric it will print false and if it renumerates so it will print true so here we are removing this and now inside this I am giving one so let's run this Now you can see it's print false and true. Apart of that, there are several other functions available inside the string information, which you can have a look or uh, that is on find, index, is alpha, is decimal, is digit, is lower, is space, is title, is upper, reindex, and then ht starts with. That's all about numpy hai string information hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching